just make it more enjoyable. Like if I was just like, hey, we're on an Amazon truck trip. No, it's it's funny. It's fucking hilarious, actually, that that happened to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me fix my hair. Oh, it's getting long though. That should bring your insurance rates down. <laughs> funny, funny. It's more important to enjoy the golf, not to get too serious. I agree. But you know what? After the third hole, I'm clocking out. And that's why I'm getting ADHD medication. <laughs> yep, that's another great reason. I cannot focus after the third hole in golf, like second hole to the third hole, I'm like, I'm nearing the end of this, you know? Now I'm here to drink, I'm here to maybe putt once in a while, but that's it. I can't believe Scotty won the Masters. Well, I can, he's a great golfer. Hi, Tom A. Tom Tom. So, yes, I used to be a, call, a car girl. You know how many times that they would be like, hey, car girl, come take a tee shot, right? So I'm lining up for the tee shot, right? I'm lining up. I would like bring it back, obviously in swing, and miss every time, miss the entire ball every time. Never failed. Miniature golf. I hate my family is obsessed with miniature golf. Like every time we go on a vacation or they come to visit, they're like miniature golf. Yes, mini golf. Let's do it. And I'm like, I'll go do something else. Like, I don't want to do this. This is actually like pain. Oh no, I got my hair in my soup. This pains me to play mini golf. I don't know what it is. I hate mini golf. I fucking hate it. I don't know what it is. Like someone explained to me why I hate mini golf. How tall am I? 5'10". I'm actually 5'9 and a half. But everyone's like, you're not 5'9 and a half, you're really tall. And I'm like, yeah, because you're 5'4", <clears throat> right? Right? I hate mini golf. I'm pretty passionate about it too. Could you guys tell, hold up, I need you guys, so, I need your opinions of people that watch my lives often and see how I operate. Do you guys think I have ADHD? Like, do you think this is a good call to like schedule to get looked at? Because I've been fighting it for like three years. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I need to be natural. I need to go about life, but it just, it's too much right now. It's really too much. And I broke down today and I was like, <laughs> I'm crying scheduling the appointment. <laughs> Tom, you think I have ADHD, man? I'm, I'm trusting your expertise here. Never diagnosed. Every time I talk to somebody, they're like, there's no way you don't have ADHD. You know, I'm kind of, why the hell are these noodles? So hard, see, there it is again. I know I need it. I know I need it because like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I might've tried it a few times, you know what I'm saying? And then when I've tried it, I'm like, Oh, this is how I'm supposed to be living my life. I'm not supposed to be stuck in a constant loop of like these thoughts and a to-do list and never actually being able to accomplish them. Like my brother's like, why don't you just do something? Why don't you do, why don't you do what I just told you to do? I'm like, I, I can't, I don't know what to tell you. I genuinely, like something's wrong. I can't. I'm wearing no makeup, thank you. Someone said I look pretty. Appreciate it. I'm about to shower. Mm -hmm. The appearing older than your age is actually a symptom. Is it really? Really? That feels kind of made up. Hmm. Interesting. I do have... I'm very mature, but like once I get like closer with you, you'll see my, my ADHD tendencies, you will. I was talking to this guy. Thank you for the rose. I was talking to this guy the other day. We were like on a walk together. He's like my neighbor. And uh, I was like talking to him in mid-sentence. I was like, hey, I can get coffee tonight. 
And I was like, I don't know why the fuck I just said that. Like we were mid conversation. I was like, we should, I could get, I could get coffee tonight. Where did that even come out of? Mm -hmm. I think that's what Tom was saying. I've never heard that either, but like, I mean, literally, someone said, do squirrels get your attention? You want to know something? My dog loves squirrels. Okay. So now every time I see a squirrel and I'm out on a W-A-L-K with him, I go, town squirrel, squirrel towns. I freak out for him. He's literally looking at me right now. I freak out for him. Because I'm so hyped that he gets to experience this squirrel because he loves them. He loves squirrels. Mm. I like you guys debating diagnosis in the comments. Just stopping in to let you know you'll never... Oh, I read that as just stopping in to let you know that you will never accomplish your goals in life. <laughs> I was like, damn, that hurts. Should I give the rest of this soup to my dog? Like I ate all the noodles, but I think he might enjoy the liquid, but I don't know if that's like normal to give to dogs. Broth is good for dogs, but this one's salty. Yeah, no, that's why I've grown, like, even when I did have a car, I I had immense anxiety because although I was focusing 100%, I knew at a given second, like, my attention span could snap to something else and I would be not focusing. And so it would, being aware of that really put me on edge when I was driving. And so when I rear-ended this Amazon truck driver, literally I was fully paying attention and that's why I'm like, oh, okay, maybe this is my final straw. <laughs> Can the dog handle the sodium? That's what I'm saying, dude. The sodium in this is unreal. But. Okay, so I need your guys' help. I need weight loss tips, okay? Now, actually, if I get diagnosed, I don't even need any of those. That'll just, that medication will just be. It's only a problem in high doses. Yeah, this is probably too much for him, but he loves whatever I'm eating. He needs to have a bite of. He loves Pringles right now. Excuse me. What the fuck was that? 